Hi guys, Logan here with another video. Today, I got something cool to show you. This is a brand new for 2022 Home Depot exclusive Pan Asian Creates Scary Rotten Jacqueline, and this is the actual name this time. So, and this is like the other one. Yes, this is Pan Asian Creates. Um. If you were like me, you probably were thinking that this was going to be Seasonal Visions. No. This is PAC. In fact, actually flip them down or you know, put them backwards. There you go. Pan Asian Creations Limited 22 PA. And for more evidence, 22 PA right there. So the same like my last video where I told you guys how you knew what company made what. That's how you know this is Pan Asian. So, I'm, for some of you who are probably wondering, well, why do some people think this was Seasonal Visions? Well, there is a Seasonal Visions item this year that is sold at Home Depot, and it is the pumpkin stack. And the very bottom, largest pumpkin, I believe it's the bottom one, has a face that is very similar I would even say almost identical to this one. And I think they were designed by the same person, but were commissioned um, by two different companies. Which would explain why one seasonal visions and one is Pan Asian Creates. So, this is sort of the small budgety one um, of the uh, pumpkin stack. If you didn't want to have like a whole bunch of pumpkins, this is sort of their little um, nod to them. And this is also Pan Asian's take on the super popular rotten pumpkin trend right now, or the rotten jack o lantern trend. And theirs is very stylized. It reminds me a lot more of Seasonal Visions Grimacing and even Mr. Resentful where it's not exactly a rotten jack-o'-lantern like a realistic one but it definitely like you look to be like oh yeah it's rotting so for pan asian by the way i'm very impressed this is all blow mold plastic the mouth the eyes blow mold plastic all this blow mold plastic this is not a thin sheet of plastic at all um, and I do have them turned on, so the yellow is a lot brighter, so it pops more. The reason why I have the lights on is I want to be able to showcase all these little details, like the scuffs. You know, like there's chunks that have come out of them. I don't know if it's... Oh yeah, it's all the way around on this one. Uh, he does not have the USB-C port. It's not on everything, but it's on some things. Um, and he also does not have a flame light. So that's why I don't have him in the dark because if, if he didn't have a flame light, he'd be in the dark. He does not. So, um, this one I believe is 12 inches. I'm pretty sure it doesn't actually say on this tag. I know the other one I showcased was 14 inches because I have it next to a 12 inch pumpkin right now and it's taller than that one. So, it's 14 inches for sure tall this one is probably one of the neater ones in terms of the faces i would still say that resentful has like the coolest face but i just like this for stylized um spooky face though it's not like overly spooky it gives me more of a classic halloween vibe if that makes sense something i would have seen in like tim burton's nightmare before christmas you know, like this would look cool on a display with like Jack Skellington. This 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 one in particular. There is also another one as well by Panation. Same style, um, just with a different face that like, lights up green. And I don't have that one yet. I'm gonna order that one next week, along with the Jemmy one. So I'll have the last pumpkins that I want from Home Depot. And um that one would also look really cool in a Nightmare Before Christmas themed display. So that one, the green one, and this one, both. And Resentful, I think, would look kind of cool. But they're a lot more cartoony. 
and are less like super scary and also are less super realistic. Like the last one I covered, which looked like a proper rotten pumpkin, this one really is kind of the opposite end of the spectrum. And I like the full range of versatility that Home Depot has this year. I think that is something that's really cool about their pumpkins is though they are really, really focusing on the rotten pumpkins this year. Um, they are like, we have, what, what's my thought process here? They're not making everything look the same. And that's super awesome. And I like that. And not only do I like that, I like how it's several different companies doing these. You've got Techie doing their classic flaming rotten pumpkins. You've got Seasonal Visions doing their thing. You've got now Pan Asian doing their thing. And then you got Jimmy doing their own thing. And all of them with their own different styles, they're all still doing a pretty good job at meeting the mark. And for this being Pan Asian, which has been a company that has been popping up on my radar a lot more in recent years. This is spectacular, and I really like it. It's simple, yes. Do I wish it had a flame light? Yeah, probably. I mean, but at the same time, I do like that they kept this classic blow mold feel. And I feel like this is going to hold up a lot better in the weather, because I do keep my pumpkins set up outside that have an enormous pumpkin in the patch display, this one will probably outlast everything else because it is built. But Panation also does a really good job with weatherproofing their stuff. So I do definitely want to give them that benefit. I think this is probably one that is one of the best built out of the bunch. It is also a little more expensive at $25, and I think that really has to do with the quality. Usually, Pan Asian is known for being lower quality. I actually feel like that they stepped it up. They did better than everyone else. And that's really impressive for them. It really just shows that this company has a really good range of, you know, quality for their products. And that's really nice to see. This is definitely one of the higher ones on my list that I would totally recommend. For one, it is one of the fan favorites of the season, and now I definitely see why. And two, it's just, it's not as scary, you know? And it's a lot more stylized, and it has a more of a classic Halloween style. And this sort of, this particular style for me, and you're going to hear, I mean, I've probably seen so much on my channel. It's more nostalgic for me. This feels like something, this feels like a face I would have seen, like, back in, like, 2008 at a Halloween city. And I like that. I don't know. It, is, it doesn't feel like overly kitty, but it also doesn't feel like overly edgy. And it doesn't look like they try to make it all like super rotten, if that makes sense. And I like that. So I definitely recommend this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.